Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is April 20th, 2023, and it's reported that Jean Laporte has traveled to Slovenia in order to meet in person with UEFA's president, Alexander Seferin. Also, we now know what the Barcelona offer to Lionel Messi will look like. And finally, it looks like Xabi is insisting that the club sign a right back this upcoming summer. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Mo and before we begin with the news, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It goes a long way in helping this small and humble channel continue to grow. Also, if you're looking to buy any Barcelona jersey or gear, make sure you hit the kit back. And in fact, they just added new Barcelona items. So make sure you hit the link that's down below in the description. Finally, I made a poll last night asking if I should do live streams after each Barcelona match ends in order to discuss the match. And so far, 80% of you have answered yes, but I will keep the poll open a little bit longer since it hasn't been 24 hours yet. But so far, it looks like Barca News will be holding live streams after every match ends. And that's to add to the live streams that we're already holding on Mondays and Wednesdays at 7.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, since the poll will stay open for several more hours, I will make an official announcement tomorrow, Friday, April the 21st, on whether the live streams after the Barcelona matches end will become a weekly thing. Now, speaking of matches, let's begin with the news that Osman Dembele, Pedri, and Frankie de Jong all three of them will undergo medical exams tomorrow in order to determine their physical state and how far along are, uh, they are in their recovery. And according to the results of these exams, we'll see whether they will get the green light to participate in the match this weekend against Atletico de Madrid. Now, it's expected that Pedri and Frankie de Jong could even start in a match against Atletico de Madrid because it looks like they are fully recovered and healthy. But of course, we will know more once the exams get conducted tomorrow. And in regards to Osman Dembele, there's talks that he could play this weekend, but it's anticipated that, the, that it might only be up to 30 minutes. So we could see Dembele play against Atletico de Madrid, but uh, most likely during the second half coming off the bench. Again, this is not final. A medical exam will be conducted on all three players tomorrow. So we will know for sure tomorrow on what the medical state of these three players are and whether they're going to be able to participate in the match against Atletico de Madrid which is probably the most complicated match that Barcelona have left in this last stretch of La Liga season as Atletico de Madrid are currently doing really well they have gone and beaten in 13 matches and they have won their last 16 consecutive matches and Anton Griezmann is currently at the top of his form so this will definitely be a very difficult match for Barcelona so the return of these three players will be very much welcome. Now on to the news that Barcelona's president has tra traveled to Slovenia in order to meet in person with UEFA's president Alexander Seferin. Now on Monday Jean Laporta gave a two-hour press conference to all the club members and the press where he explained the results of the Enriquez de Herrera internal investigation that Barcelona conducted and then he went on Wednesday to meet with all La Liga clubs where he again discussed the findings of the clubs in regards to the Enriquez de Herrera and today it seems like he traveled to Slovenia in order to meet with UEFA's president Alexander Seferin in order to discuss with him the findings of the Enriquez de Herrera case. Now it seems that Jean Laporta told the UEFA's president or highlighted once again that there's absolutely no evidence that Barcelona attempted to bribe any referees or try to buy any kind of influence and that the hiring of Enrique Stadeda's company was solely for technical reports about referees so Bar which is a norm in La Liga and that all, Bar uh, all La Liga clubs do by hiring former referees who, could, who also produce similar reports. Now it looks like Jan Laporta also discussed with Alexander Seferin that if UEFA does sanction Barcelona for bribery and prevents them from playing in European competitions and later on the courts in Spain find that Barcelona are innocent that Barcelona would look to sue UEFA and get damages or monetary or compensation and that that compensation could reach the millions of euros. Finally, it looks like Jean Laporta discussed with Seferin the Super League and even though Jean Laporta believes heavily that all the clubs should get the majority of the revenues out of the Super League, 
he would not be completely opposed of UEFA participating in the Super League, but it would be a minor role rather than the big role that UEFA currently has in the European competitions such as the Champions League and the Europa League. Now on to the news that we now know what the Barcelona offer to Lionel Messi will look like in order to sign the Argentinian world champion this upcoming summer. Now, as we've been talking about all these past weeks, it looks like Barcelona want to sign Lionel Messi back. It looks like Messi wants to come back. First, we know this through Argentinian reporters who are close to the player who have reported that Messi wants to come back. And most recently, we found out that Messi has asked for the registration of his kids in their former schools in the city of Barcelona, which is a clear intent that Messi wants to come back to Barcelona again. Now, in yesterday's video, I broke the news that Javier Tebas has said that he too wants to see Lionel Messi back in the Spanish league. So it looks like all the parties involved want this to happen. So all is left to figure out is, of course, the financial situation and whether Barcelona will be able to sign the Argentinian star. Now, as I've already discussed before, Barcelona are currently working on a feasibility plan to present to La Liga where they pretty much would, uh, would show La Liga that Barcelona are working on different projects in order to bring the club back on, financial, uh, on a financial healthy course. And with this, Barcelona would be committing to follow through all these projects. And in return, La Liga would allow Barcelona more time to reduce their wage bill by 200 million euros because Barcelona understand that it would be practically impossible to do this in only a few months. Now, part of this viability or feasibility plan would be to increase the sponsors to renegotiate the publicity contracts to bring in more revenue for the club, to offload several players this upcoming summer, and finally, to reduce the salary of, other, or of very high-earning uh, players. And if this plan is approved by La Liga, then Barcelona would be given a bit more space to maneuver this summer in order to make more signings and in order to try to bring Lionel Messi back to the club. Now we now know what the offer of Barcelona will look like to Lionel Messi and it looks like Barcelona are planning to offer him a 13 million euro net salary a year which is what Robert Lewandowski will earn next season and also they're looking to offer him a two-year contract until the summer of 2025 with Lionel Messi having the option of being able to terminate his contract after one season so we're gonna have to see whether these terms will be acceptable for the argentinian legend now speaking of signing players it seems that xavi is insisting that barcelona sign a specialist for the right back position come this summer now xavi has had to deal with this problem all throughout this season where he hasn't had a specialist to play in the right back position and as a result we've seen the likes of jules Conde and ronald araujo having to fill that position We've even seen Sergio Roberto and Alejandro Balde play in that position as well. And it seems that Xabi is insisting that Barcelona sign a specialist for the right back position. Now Xabi is insisting that Barcelona sign Juan Foyt, who's currently playing for Villarreal. But it seems that Villarreal are not backing down from the price, which is around 60 million euros, which of course makes it very difficult for Barcelona to fulfill. Now, nonetheless, Xabi is insisting that Barcelona sign Juan Foyt or a different specialist in the right back position. So Barcelona will continue working on this because as reported before, it seemed that the right back position had fallen down the order of priorities as Barcelona were prioritizing other positions. And there was even talks about Barcelona not signing anyone for the right back position at all, given a difficult financial situation. But it seems that Xabi is insisting that the club try to sign Juan Foyt or at least a different specialist for that position. Now we will end today's video with the news that the German club Leipzig has finally placed a prize on the midfielder Dani Olmo. Now we've talked about Dani Olmo in previous video. He's the 24 year old attacking midfielder whose contract expires with Leipzig in the summer of 2024. And there has been a lot of talks over several seasons linking Dani Olmo to Barcelona because he's a player who came up through the Barcelona Academy and it looks like he's been wanting to come back to Barcelona for quite some time. And now Leipzig, who were trying to renew the contract of the player, have finally given up on their pursuit and they have slapped a 30 million euro tag price on the player. Now, as it stands today, Barcelona are not contemplating signing Dani Olmo in the summer. But again, things could change, so we're going to have to see whether Dani Olmo will get his wish of coming back to Barcelona. 
where the Barcelona will continue looking for different players in the market. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below, giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, peace, Barca.